Here in the U.S., an A&P is a canvas uh, blanket cover lets you just work on jets. And now, just quickly there, you mentioned A&P school. So for the viewers out there not watching, can you, uh, I know you'll probably talk about this in the schooling, but what's, what's that A&P school? So uh, Airframe and uh, Power Plant School, um, that's what A&P stands for. Yep. Um, it's a license that we need to uh, sign off, well, especially in post aviation. Um, I'm not letting you touch an aircraft without an A&P license. Right. Um, and what that A&P does, it lets the operators and the aircraft owners know that you've been through either it's an 18 month course through a technical school or you've been to college, you know, for four year college that you did obtain an A&P license because you got the hands on and you met the criteria that the A&P has for, you know, your general, which is basically your general knowledge base and then your airframe sector and then your power plant and that you you've built that. I mean, excuse me, not built it, but it lets the FAA know that you proficiently went through these courses, you passed them successfully, and you demonstrated the knowledge you have for the FAA to hand you a license that says you are now qualified to go work on a jet. So we talked about the basics, obviously, of an A&P and the technical school in that aspect. What else can a mechanic look forward to or look into when they actually get out there to a hangar? Okay, the biggest thing, especially in the U.S., because um, we're, we're not as stringent and strict as, like, uh, EASA, um, where over there you need actual type ratings and you have to have on your license a qualification to work specific airframes. Here in the U.S., an A&P is a canvas uh, blanket cover lets you just work on jets. But what you can expect when you're coming into this environment is aircraft variety. So you're going to have multiple manufacturers, multiple models, uh, anything down from the type of jets, the avionics systems you're going to be working, the engines you're going to be working, the type of interiors you're going to be dealing with. And the never boring, as we say out in the hangar, because you know what, when you do come into a hangar and you work on these different aircraft, every day is not the same. You know, you're not coming in like uh, a car mechanic and all you're doing is changing oil all day. You're coming in one day, you're changing tires and brakes. The next day you're coming in, you're doing engine accessories where you had to take it out, run engines. Um, the next day you could be troubleshooting a system with meters and you're shooting what we call shooting wires to find faults and systems to help remedy whatever is going on with that plane. So yeah, as uh as an AMP mechanic in the private aviation world, you're going to expect a lot of variety. Every day is not the same. Um, and yeah, you can just expect a, a wide range of experiences.